Hi guys, so this video is all about the nappy rash and skincare tips that I found useful over the last few months. If you're a new mum or mum-to-be then I really hope you find it useful too. And if you haven't seen my videos before, my name's Nick and I have a five-month-old baby boy called Henry. So my first tip is that if your baby has a tendency for dry skin to avoid bathing them too often as it can dry it out further. Long as well as hot baths can also make dry skin worse. We unfortunately learnt this the hard way because although initially we were only bathing Henry around once a week, when we upped it to every day he started to develop these dry patches so we've now scaled back bath time to every other night and we no longer use a bubble bath. On the nights that we aren't bathing Henry, we simply move straight to the bed for a massage and a sing-song. My second tip is to use a barrier ointment such as bupanthin to protect against the causes of nappy rash at each nappy change. If I don't use bupanthin on Henry, then I really notice that he develops these red and sore patches, especially around the inner thigh area, and this is caused by the contents of the nappy rubbing against his delicate skin. Unlike most nappy creams, bupanthin has a kind to baby skin formulation which doesn't contain any fragrances or preservatives. It's so gentle that it can be used from birth and contains pro-vitamin B5 to help the skin to repair its natural barrier. The main thing is to use a barrier ointment to protect healthy skin rather than only using it when you notice a flare-up. My third tip is to keep a nappy caddy stashed with all of your baby's skincare essentials as well as the changing mat at the end of your bed so that you don't need to leave your room during the night or early morning for a nappy change. I keep my nappy caddy stashed with nappies, gentle wipes, a barrier ointment, a muslin, nappy bags and of course a spare change of clothes just in case there's an accident. I also find the nappy caddy useful for the evening routine so after a bath we come into the bedroom and we pop on a barrier ointment, a new nappy and of course a clean sleep suit. My fourth tip is to use just warm water and cotton wool at nappy changes for the first few weeks. I found it useful to use a top and tail bowl for this as I popped warm water in one side and my cotton wool in the other and for on the go I carried with me a squeezy bottle filled with water and a pack of large cotton pads. I then moved on to water-based and sensitive wipes just for convenience and luckily these haven't seemed to aggravate his skin. My fifth and final tip is to keep your baby towels on the radiator during bath time so when your baby gets out of the bath they're nice and warm and just remember to pat your baby dry as opposed to rubbing at their delicate skin. Once your baby is dry and providing the room is nice and warm, you may also want to try some nappy free time. A newborn baby's skin is 40% thinner and also softer than adults, which makes it more sensitive to irritants like those in wee and poo, which can cause nappy rash when in contact with the baby's skin. This is made worse by a tight nappy, which both rubs and stops the air from circulating, so having some time without it is great for airing out this area. So I really hope that you found these skincare tips useful. I would love to know if you've got any more down in the comments and if you want to find out more about the Panthen as well as how to protect your baby against the causes of nappy rash then I will leave a link to their website down below. I really recommend Bupanthin just because it protects Henry's skin so much better than all of the other nappy creams that I've used. The last five months really have been such a roller coaster, with perhaps the first six weeks being the toughest. The last few weeks though have been amazing because Henry has been smiling, laughing, interacting and it just makes those tough days and nights all the more worthwhile. If you want to see more about my journey as a new mum, I post over on Instagram, I'm at Mummy Nutrition. Thank you so much for watching this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!